What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital, Zach here. And in this video, we're gonna answer the question of how to concatenate strings and ints in Python. So without further ado, let's start coding. What is up everybody? Uh, in this video, like I mentioned, we're going to answer that question of how can I concatenate strings and ints, or basically how can I concatenate strings and numbers. Um, this is probably one that happens a lot because people learn about string concatenation. Um, if you haven't checked out one of my previous videos, um, when you find out that you can do the plus operator and stuff like that, people try it with ints and then they probably run into some, uh, an error. And so just to kind of show you, to kind of show you probably what the error that you're running into is say I have a string that says total. I'm going to just do a variable and say this is, this is my string, right? And from string concatenation, you learn that I say, oh, I want to print this total out. And I want to add, you know, five, five to it. You know, it's five bucks, whatever. So they come and they run a little string concatenation show to do this. And they come down here and get really excited. Python. Whoa, there's an error. And it says only, can only concatenate string, not int to a string. So how do we concatenate them? Well, in this video, we're going to solve this problem. We're going to solve this error using four different methods to go about doing this. And the first method that you can use is essentially, if you've checked out one of my other videos talking about how to convert an int into a string, we're, gonna, we're basically going to use that information to help us to concatenate strings and ints. Um, and the first way to do it out of four is going to be using the str function. So essentially what I can do is before, like if I run this again, just so everyone fresh, we get an error. But if I do total plus, and then I wrap my five in the str function, and I run this, now I get total equals five. So what's happening there is this str function is essentially when you wrap that around anything, it converts it to a string. So I'm converting this automatically into a string um, using the str function and it's really simple it's probably the one that you'll probably use um, most often but there are cases where you may want to do something a little different and another way that you can go about this is you can go about this using the uh, the modular or the percent operator. And so essentially what we're going to do, if I copy this, percent s percent 5. So what is happening is I'm taking my string, right? And I'm going to convert this 5 into a string and then I'm going to concatenate it together to get our total equals $5. So if I run this, you should see that it gets the same exact thing as we got above, which is what we want, right? Um, really simple. That's that's another way to go about doing it. If, if for whatever reason the str function doesn't work, um, I haven't run into a lot of cases, and I can't think of really any case off the top of my head where that uh, str doesn't work, but just in case, this is a way that you can go about as well. Um, the third way that you can do this is actually using the format the format function. Now you can go about this two different ways so I'll show those here. So what you can do is you can do print total plus for our concatenation because we're going to do a string and I can do this. So take my five like one in my previous video say take my five convert it to a string then add the string to that and that will give us our total down there like it's normal. Or what you can do Is I can do this and you can see and this is a good I'm, I'm glad that I did it this way because you can see that I, I basically said the format says take wherever these brackets are take whatever I pass into the format function and put them there and you can see I put total equals you know dollar sign this and I 
passing five. And so we wanted this, but we got total and then we had dollar sign space. And that's because of this extra space here. So if I were to just do that, this would actually give us what we're looking for. Um, so that is one way, another way to go about doing it. And just one thing to watch out with, with a format is depending on, you know, what, how you set this up, um, could be how you want the string to be to look or it could not be which when I first did it I had it this way and then that is not how we wanted it we wanted it to be dollar sign five with no space in between um, but doing this gave us something different than we want so we had to go back and change it to that for they're together um, to give us this value so that is format you could do it that way just watch out with with um, the the spacing because whatever spaces you put here like I could put you know was that four spaces and I could run this and now it's going to put four spaces in between total and my string of five. So that's just something to be careful with, but that is something you can do with format. It's really powerful. We could spend a whole video on it. Um, but just something to watch out for. And the last but not least, probably one of my favorite ways of going about concatenating and converting ints to strings is using F strings. Um, because what's really cool about F strings, Granted, I should probably put the disclaimer, Python 3.6 and above. Um, this is when it first got implemented. But essentially what you can do is print, and then I can do F, and then give it the string, whatever one I want to use. I can use single quote, I can use double quote, um, I'm just going to use single. And now I can put my variable. And this is actually just like, I think this is, the reason I think F stream exists, it's just a better... Form, it's an it's an updated way to do format. So again, just like format, we have to be careful. And I want to put five of what it looks like. Um, so we just have to be careful what we do. Because if I do total and I do space, it's going to give us that initial one that we didn't want, right? But if I do with no space, that is going to give us what we want. And so those are the four different ways that I have found that you can essentially concatenate strings um, and ints together. And it's basically just using the way that you convert an int into a string and then just using just general concatenation um, to go about it. So there you have it. So that is four different ways that you can go about concatenating ints and strings together. So. Play with them, leave a comment below, let me know what you'd like. Let me know if you found any other ways to do it. I'd surely um, be glad to hear um, what ways, different ways that y'all have done it. And uh, just practice it, play with it, see what you find. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate everyone taking the time to view the video. Um, please subscribe to my channel, help and let's learn together more about Python and software development. And without further ado, keep on coding.